Tonight, I'm going to do more than just say good night. I'm going to say goodbye. This is the last edition of Huckabee on the Fox News Channel. Now, for the past six and a half years, I felt honored to come into your home each week and bring a variety of news, politics, entertainment, music, and great stories of amazing people. It has been the ride of a lifetime, and I've never had so much fun in my life. I've met people I never dreamed I'd meet, and I played music with legends in the music business. But I also realized that God hasn't put me on earth just to have a good time or to make a good living, but rather God's put me on earth to try to make a good life. There's been a great deal of speculation as to whether I would run for president. And if I were willing to absolutely rule that out, I could keep doing this show. But I can't make such a declaration. Now, I'm not going to make a decision about running until late in the spring of 2015, but the continued chatter has put Fox News into a position that just isn't fair to them. Nor is it possible for me to openly determine political and financial support to justify a race. The honorable thing to do at this point is to end my tenure here at Fox. Now, as much as I have loved doing the show, I cannot bring myself to rule out another presidential run. Oh, be clear, I'm not making that announcement right now. And my timetable is still just what it was before later this spring. But I agree with Fox that this is the right thing, and now is the right time. Harder than walking away from a generous paycheck from Fox is leaving some of the most incredible people I've ever worked with. As I say in my soon-to-be-released book, God, Guns, Grits, and Gravy, Roger Ailes, who's the chairman and CEO of the Fox News Channel, really is the smartest guy in the room. I mean, it doesn't matter who else is in the room. Roger Ailes understands that the success of an organization is that people in the organization feel bonded by a common goal. They share an esprit de corps and that each member of the team builds each other up. Now, the critics of Fox News will never understand that. But being here has given me the opportunity to serve with not only the most professional people in the business, but without a doubt, the nicest people in the business. From our extraordinary production crew who run cameras, work audio and lighting, manage the stage, direct the show and edit it, to the people who work in the makeup room or the custodial staff, there is truly an enviable camaraderie in the Fox family. A special heartfelt word of thanks to my show staff who each week work their hearts out to help put together what has been the highest rated weekend show on the network each week since we launched. They deserve far more credit than me for the show's success. I love every one of them, and I consider myself to be blessed beyond description to have worked with them every week. Now, I'm not going to disappear, and I'll probably make guest appearances on Fox, I hope so, but no longer as a member of the staff. Oh, I'll keep you updated on my whereabouts and plans on my website, mikehuckabee.com, as well as on my Facebook page. But I want to thank Roger Ailes for the past six and a half years of support. And thanks to you for your loyal viewership of the show. You trusted me each week, and I tried to never violate that trust. And I hope I never will. So that's it for the Huckabee Show. I say goodbye, but as we say in television, stay tuned. There's more to come. Good night.